Hi everybody and thank you for joining me on my channel today. My name is Shelby and if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. So what we're talking about today is the wonderful Serrano pepper. Whether you're growing this pepper yourself or you're buying them from the grocery store and uh, just want some more information on them, um, you've come to the right place. I had uh, um, sown these seeds back in July they really started to take off in September when the heat kind of died down. I know most people would think, oh, you know, lots of heat equals lots of pepper production um, in Florida. It's not necessarily always the case because it gets really hot here. So now that it's the fall season, I'm really starting to see some great um, pepper yields or just all my vegetables in general are doing much better. I have three plants in my garden and out of the three plants, I probably have about um, 40, 50 peppers at this time. It's a pretty high yield, and especially because the pepper is so small, um, you're gonna get a lot of peppers from each plant. At one point, you're gonna think, I don't know what to do with all these peppers, so um, later in the video, I'm gonna show you guys a recipe on, um, so, um, on some hot sauce. And uh, you can also do things like make it into relish, uh, just saute it into your, um, you know, like a spicy meal, for example, like with chicken. You can add it to guacamole, you can um, dry it out and make it into, a, if you have like a air fryer or something like that, uh, or you can even dry it out in the oven and grind it up and make it into a spice. So. There's lots of different options. You could use it like people do with jalapenos and um, stuff it with cream cheese or wrap it with um, bacon. So lots of options with this pepper. I'm gonna taste test this pepper and uh, we'll see how spicy it is. They say it's anywhere from 5,000 to 15,000 Scoville units. So let's give this uh, thing a try. It's nice has a good smoky flavor. Definitely not overpowering at all. I'd highly recommend growing this pepper in your garden. Very easy, very productive. Um, it's just a good, you know, hearty pepper. So, and very, um, as you can see, lots of peppers. I did forget to mention that this pepper plant, um, it's really high in antioxidants, lots of vitamin C, so um, it's got really good cancer fighting benefits to it. You really only need one uh, if you're just using it as a household uh, ingredient, uh, but if you want a lot of plants, you're going to get pounds of peppers and consider trying to make some something good for canning and you know selling, it, it would be a good option for that. So this is the um, harvest from the peppers. I just um, picked all the ones that are ready to go today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these ones inside and make some hot sauce out of them. Um, pretty pleased just by those few plants, that's what I got. On to the hot sauce portion of this video. We'll need one half of a sweet onion, seven cloves of garlic. Next is two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of ginger, and approximately one half pound of serrano peppers. Make sure you wash your peppers, and then what we're gonna do is just cut the tops off the peppers. You don't have to cut them in half and worry about seeding them. Put the peppers on a lined sheet pan and put the garlic and the onions on there as well. And then we're gonna just drizzle the peppers and that whole mix with about two tablespoons of olive oil and um, just toss it all together. You're going to place all of that in the oven on 425 for approximately 25 minutes or until they're nice and blistered. Add 
After 25 minutes, you will have a beautiful mix of peppers, onions, and garlic. Then throw the oven mix into a blender and blend everything together before you add your spices and your vinegar, just to give it a pre-mix. Now you're going to add all of your spices and three quarters of a cup of white distilled vinegar into the blender and mix together thoroughly until you get a nice smooth consistency. Don't worry about those seeds yet. We will be straining them out and all of those fibers. So now we're going to just strain everything so that you have a beautiful smooth hot sauce mix. Look at that beautiful hot sauce mix, homegrown. I have tried this, it is so good. It's so tangy and sweet from the little bit of sugar and that ginger. You're gonna love this hot sauce. Then we're just gonna bottle everything and put it in um, any kind of homemade bottle or jar that you have. It will last um, at least a month or two in the refrigerator because of the vinegar. And just thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and follow my channel if you'd like more videos.